month stop. I don't get to play guitar that often with a uh, seven-year-old son in the house. Uh, every time I try to play, he comes running, Daddy, Daddy, I want to play. So anyway, it's rare I get any guitar time around the house, so today I like to play a bit. All right, today I'm going to just talk about something very quick, and um, it's just something that a lot of people don't know about. They're, they're almost like shocked when I show them, but most of you guys know this, so the guys who know it, uh, I don't know, flip past but the guys who don't, um, here's the deal. There's a lining inside your hat. Everybody knows there's a silk liner in there, okay? Now, those linings are generally very cheap. They're, they're like 10 bucks, and you can usually get them at any hat shop. The idea is, this is the part that gets sweaty because your head will touch here. Now, especially if you're bald up there, you're going to make sweat up there, yeah? The other part is around the perimeter of the hat. That's why you have a leather sweatband and a ribbon. Those three things are the only things that really make contact with, like, you know, sweat. So they're changeable. That's the point I'm making. You can change these things really easily, quickly. You could take them out if you want your hat to be a little cooler. Let's say you're working in your hat or you're wearing it like in June, you know, a little bit spring, summerish type of time. You could just take the lining out and put it back in when you need it. Now again, hat linings are more important for people who have bald spots or balding or maybe that wear lots of hair oils and stuff like that. If you have thick, you know, hair on top, now it's just basically gonna not be a problem for you. You're not gonna make sweat stains up there. Now, if you don't have a lot up on top, it's an issue. Now, you have to worry about making, you know, round sweat stains on the top of it. You might pay $400 for, like, a really good Italian hat. You don't want sweaty, you know, this, that. So you keep your linings in. Now, for the people who don't really need it, this is how you take them out, and this is how you put them in. Take your sweatband, the leather sweatband, cloth sweatband, doesn't matter what it is, ribbon sweatband, reverse it, okay? Just pull it out like that. Just reverse it, open it up, okay? Now, your lining's gonna be either glued in with a couple of just dabs of hot glue gun, like dab, 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 or it's not gonna be glued in at all. On a vintage hat, a rare, this is the thing, on a vintage hat, they used to sew them in. So you'd see stitch, stitch, like hand stitching. So you can pull it out, but it's harder. You have to be careful. Only vintage hats do that. New hats, they generally don't sew them in. If you see it, that's a good mark of quality. Um, but I guess it's unnecessary because they, they're they meant to be taken out and put so. Okay. I think a dab of a hot glue gun is good, but if you do it, you got to keep those dabs very, like almost like a wipe. It has to be very thin because you don't want like a pellet of hard plastic, you know, inside your hat. So you have to keep that glue, hot glue very, very thin or use that kind of crafts glue, that duco cement type stuff, you know? Okay. Take your lining by one corner and just take it out. There you go. Not hard. People are just scared to do it. Linings get bunched up like, okay, lining's like a cylinder, okay? You see it? It's cylindrical. Sometimes they get bunched up inside like this, and then people call the hat store and they say, oh, I need a hat repair. There's a problem with the, the inside of my hat. You know, they don't know it. You could just kind of, just fix it, you know? Sometimes you gotta pull these things out and steam them because they get like like this and they and they won't open up. You know, they're just so wrinkled that they kinda hold that wrinkled ball shape and that they won't take the shape of the hat. So you gotta take it, wave it inside some steam like this, you know, like a kettle or whatever, go like this. What I like to do is take a tissue ball, a big ball of tissue, and I use that to rub it. So that way the steam doesn't burn my hand as I go through. So you ball, ball, like that, you know? Anyway, steam the thing out. All right, you want to put it back in, make sure you got it the right way. First thing you do is you punch out the crown. Make the crown just, you know, like a cylinder type of thing, bullet thing. All right, same shape as this, same thing, cylinder. Make sure you got it the right way with the writing facing you and stuff, you know. That's it. Close it up. I don't even glue mine in. I feel it's unnecessary. They stay in nicely. It's perfect. I'm shaking it. It's not coming out, you know. 
I feel uh, you don't need glue in it, but whatever. You could use anything you want. You could use a tiny piece of duct tape or something in there if you want. I feel it's unnecessary. Okay, let's try it again. Here's another hat. That's the one I just did. Another hat. Open up the sweatband. Grab the lining at one side. I know it's a little dark here, but you need to all right, grab, grab the lining. There, okay, here's a side. Oh, good. This one's got a little bit of hot glue, so we can shut it. There we go. Ready? I'm gonna pull the hot glue out. A little pressure. You go close to the glue so I don't rip the lining. There we go. One, two. Oh. All right, this has some weird stitching because I put on a weird homemade band or something. There's actually some stitching in there too. I stitch right through the lining. Oh boy, I must have done that like 20 years ago. But anyway, yeah, take the lining out. Put it back in. Take the lining out. Reverse it to that kind of cylinder shape. Open it. Put it back in. Flip the band. It's really easy. Um, don't be afraid to change it. Don't be afraid to take them out. If you need to take it out for cooler whether you keep it in for hot or whether you take it out, you know, that's fine too. Let's try it again with this old toe pad. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this is a brown lining. This one, it's actually black. Put it back in. Ready? Here we go. Oh, wait. Push this out first. Okay. I want those two shapes to match. Put it just like that on my knees. Tabletop is fine. Drop it in. Fix it up. Reverse the band. It's super duper duper easy. Just a matter of like people see an expensive hat and they're afraid to mess with it. They're like, eh, I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to break it. They don't realize it's like a really cheap piece of silk that's in there. It's not even silk, actually. It's like, you know, cheapo satin. So, um, it's easy to take out. You want to grab it, you can take it out. You want to put it back in, put it back in. That's up to you. It's basically going to make your hat a little bit hotter, but it will protect the hat from sweat stains that permeate all the way through. Um, so, you know, if you have a problem with your hat being too hot, pull it out. Again, you might want to do it if you have, you know, fuller hair. If you're a bald guy, keep that lining in. Most likely, eventually, you're going to go through that because head sweat on top, just like they sweat at the forehead. Um, the problem is if you, you have lots of hair on top, it, it just doesn't permeate through. Hey, this is a gross conversation. I'm not going to even continue this sweat conversation and permeating. But um, you guys get the idea, okay? So, take out the lining. Put it back in. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Alright, let me play you out. Right. And if you guys haven't hit that subscribe thing down there, it's, uh, it's always good to do that. Because the subscribe thing kind of supports the channel and it keeps us, you know, rolling. So if you like us, uh, you know, what we're doing here, the information is beneficial to you and you want it to continue, try to hit subscribe and thumbs up and all those things. They actually do help. Kevin from that old hey. day off.